Hello and welcome to the program, Japanese widely seen as the perfect example of an economic miracle after World War II. And with its stagnating economy, Ukraine has a lot to learn. Despite the geographical distance, how close are they society? What can Ukraine learn from Japan experience? To talk more about this, we're joined in the studio today by Yoshihiko Okabe. He's a professor of economic from Japan. Hello and thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Uh, so first question, uh, Japan is openly a staunch ally of Ukraine, uh, being the only Asian country that openly condemned Russia's annexation of Crimea in 2014. How did this influence uh, the position of Japan in the region, in the Asian region and in the region here? Yes, uh, this is a very, uh, very, very important question for us because uh, we have the, we have also territorial problem after World War II. This is a uh, continuous same situation over 70 years. And uh, in uh, in Ukraine, for example, in Russia, in Ukraine, this is a famous name is a uh, Kriel Islands, South Kriel Islands. But we call the Northern Territory of Japan. So before, of course, uh, Ukraine has not so much uh, territorial problem uh, between uh, against Russia. But now uh, you have the uh, same. Uh, problem mm. uh, like us and uh, of course and, uh, I think uh, uh, first of all I, I'd like to say uh, we can uh, we Japanese we Japan can advise Ukraine our experience because uh, we continue the long uh, experience uh, dialogue negotiation etc etc and also of course and, uh, and now Japan uh, participate the sanction against Russia and of course keep continue even uh, even though uh, we need to uh, continue negotiation uh, about uh, the territorial problem so I think this is a uh, uh, of course uh, uh, only uh, only Japan participate uh, sanction in Asia country this is a uh, regime I think so um, you yeah you raise, you raise this issue between relations of, of between Russia problematic problematic uh, relations between the Russia yes. and, uh, and Japan as uh, Russia and, and Ukraine how from from the Japanese experience how to deal with Russia with uh, with a country as big as Russia when yes. you're that kind of economy how to deal with that kind of yes problem? this is an uh, 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 this is also an uh, maybe a Ukrainian uh, when uh, when I uh, talk about uh, uh, about this uh, because I, some Ukrainian ask me to uh, same question almost same question and uh, every time I say that uh, we have an uh, over 70s experience but the Ukrainian people are very surprised because uh, oh we, we need to uh, uh, we need to uh, uh, continue the, the dialogue and negotiate mm -hmm. such a longer but of course as you know Russia is a large country and also we uh, uh, we made uh, many many uh, uh, we uh, we made uh, many many uh, what can I say um, uh, negotiation not only negotiation but also sometimes agreement we made agreement for example agreement of fishing right uh, in the northern area waters and yes yeah. mm -hmm. yes so um, I think uh, Ukraine also uh, need to uh, uh, need to keep continue the negotiation against Russia uh, especially a practical issue for mm -hmm. example uh, like Japan. Yeah. Now, um, <clears throat> the strategic position of Ukraine uh, in Europe makes it the perfect gateway for Japanese yes. export. For example, uh, how can Ukraine benefit from the situation and how does Japan benefit from the situation? Yes, and this is, a, uh, of course, an, uh, Ukraine is a very, uh, strategic, uh, uh, strategically, this is a very good place mm. because uh, uh, your country is uh, between the Russia and Europe. But of course, sometimes this is also a political problem you have, but of course, you can access uh, uh, easily to the European markets, for example. And, uh, and now, uh, of course, and, uh, for example, Japan case, I'd like to say, uh, we had uh, two times uh, external pressure. The, uh, this is an, uh, 150, uh, uh, about 150 years ago. America came to uh, Japan, and uh, J Japan society was uh, very old-fashioned, but changed. And uh, uh, like uh, like this external pressure, now uh, you have the uh, Russian uh, pressure from the Russian. But uh, on the other hand, this is uh, like a chance, and uh, your country. Uh, and move to the uh, uh, move to uh, European countries, and of course, and uh, this is uh, not like before. So uh, yeah, that's interesting. You draw this comparison because yes, of course, you have this external pressure from you had in, in Japan from this really traditional uh, society, which had to move really quick towards yeah. a certain and grow uh, economically towards a certain path to to, to the West. Um, do you do you see this coming in, in Ukraine, like keeping that kind of tradition, and, but in the meantime having a boom in economy, having a boom towards the West? 
Yes, uh, uh, I think of course uh, there's much possibility because um, uh, you can, uh, Ukraine has um, uh, many people. I, I think many people thinking Ukraine has a large possibility and the potential. And uh, but on the other hand, uh, Ukraine people also uh, have not find yet. And uh, for example, uh, in the, uh, I, I had to say a very interesting e example uh, this year. In Japan, uh, now uh, most uh, fashionable uh, uh, clothes for female is uh, like a British bank. But really? unfortunately, yeah, and <laughs> almost, almost, almost all supermarket and uh, selling uh, uh, cyber right. British bank. But, yeah. but uh, <laughs> unfortunately, uh, uh, Japanese people, for example, Japanese, almost all Japanese people uh, also uh, couldn't, uh, couldn't know uh, this is a Ukrainian style. Mm -hmm. yeah, so and I, I think if a uh, uh, country of Ukraine can uh, promote uh, such kind of cultural products, for example, uh, we Japan, uh, now when, uh, Japanese, we Japan, Japanese government want to sell a Japanese content industry, like, um, for example, anime and uh, uh, manga. Which is uh, really linked to the identity. Yes, of, yeah. of, and uh, we, uh, we uh, uh, entitled this a uh, cruel Japan. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I think and if uh, Ukrainian government and the Ukrainian authority can uh, promote Ukrainian products as cool Ukraine all over, all, over, all over the world, I think this is a large possibility. So it's a, it's a way of, of branding it. But um, also in another way of branding Ukraine is, the, is its IT sector, which yes. is growing and uh, also in video games and, and in a yes. lot of that sector actually yes. in IT. So do you see any analogies between, between the two countries in, in this case, between this IT sector in Ukraine and also the, like, the boom in high technology in in, in Japan. I see. Uh, this uh, yeah, and of course uh, it's very uh, uh, now and uh, it's also very important for us because uh, now and uh, Japanese economy quickly recovered uh, in this four, uh, four mm -hmm. years, and uh, now and uh, our uh, IT. Uh, Especially, uh, very short, very uh, small number. So uh, we would like to invite uh, foreign countries, and uh, especially now. And uh, I, uh, today, uh, I went to the uh, Japanese embassy to discuss ambassador, and mm -hmm. now uh, he he advised me that now uh, many Ukrainian uh, IT specialists growing, uh, growing, growing, and uh, if we we, uh, we can invite them uh, to Japan, of course, uh, this is a uh, very good result. But unfortunately, uh, uh, need to uh, speak a minimum English or better Japanese. Now on to on to hot topics. Uh, in 2014, Japan agreed to uh, to give 1.5 billion uh, dollars for to Ukraine in condition that the Ukrainian government reaches agreement and re the requirements of the IMF. Yes. Today was uh, the voting of the law, the anti-corruption yes. law, which is one of the, re the requirements yes. that the IMF asks. Uh, so how d will Japan still help Ukraine financially? Yes, yes. How, uh, how will it evolve? How, how do you see the, the, and the, the relations between the two countries evolve on that matter? Yes, and uh, uh, yeah, today uh, I was also in the Berhovnoda, the Parliament of Ukraine, and uh, uh, I'm a great honor to become a uh, what can I say witness of the historical day. And of course, uh, corruption is an, uh, we also recognize corruption uh, is uh, one of the, one of the largest problems in Ukraine. And of course, and, uh, Japan also, uh, as, uh, as many Ukrainian people know, uh, Japan provided a, a police machine, for example. Mm -hmm. And uh, but uh, on the other hand, we also ask the Ukrainian. Government government uh, to make an, uh, something raw against uh, corruption. And uh, I think, uh, but uh, we also have, our society also has sometimes the corruption, but not so much and uh, small number. So I think uh, we can advise uh, from our specialist uh, how to need and uh, how sh should you do. And But my personal opinion is, and if possibly uh, uh, salary of public servant is more higher, of course, the corruption will be a, a small number. Yeah, I think so. Well, thank you for having you in the studio. It was a pleasure. That was Yoshihiko Okabe. He's a professor of economics from Japan. Thank you for watching the program. Stay tuned for the rest.